In this problem, we have the equation for a line, and we're supposed to find the slope and the y-intercept, and then use that information to make a graph of the line. And I think that's a great way to do it. That's how I would go about graphing a line uh, just in general, even if these specific instructions weren't here. To get the slope and the y-intercept, we want to put this thing in slope-intercept form. So we're going to do that by solving for y. So that slope-intercept form is the y equals mx plus b. And when you've got it in this form, the m here, that's your slope. And your b is your y-intercept. So to solve this one for y, we only have to do one thing. We just have to subtract 3x from both sides. That's going to get rid of this positive 3x over here and move it over here. So what's left on the, on the left is just y. On the right, I'm going to write the x term first, so negative 3x. And then we have that minus 2. So this is our equation in slope-intercept form. Our slope then is negative 3 and our y-intercept is negative 2. So the next step here is to plot the y-intercept. Negative 2 right here. So that is our y-intercept. And now the slope. Remember that slope is rise over run. So we always think of it as a fraction. We've got a negative 3, which isn't a, a fraction, but negative 3 is the same as negative 3 over 1. Any number is itself over 1. So what this mean, it means is it has a rise of negative 3. A negative number means that it goes down. So we're going to go down 3 and over to the right 1. So we can plot our next point by going down 1, 2, 3, and over 1. And we could do that again if we needed to. 1, 2, 3, and over 1. We'd be down here off the graph. If we needed to do that backwards, we could do the opposite. We could go to the left 1 and up 3. So 1, 2, 3, right there. And once we've got two or more points, we can just draw the line through those points. And that is our line. So that is how to plot a line by finding the slope and the y-intercept.